Okay, um, what I'd like to do is I want to show you how to solve a systems of equations uh, when you have two equations. I have 2x plus y equals negative 5, and I have 2x plus negative y equals 5. And the way that I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this three different ways. I'm going to first do it by graphing, I'm going to use it by elimination, and I'm going to do it by substitution. Because I want you to see the three different methods, um, two algebraically and one graphically, that we can do to solve a, a solution. I'm sorry, solve a system of two equations. So first thing is graphing, and I'm just going to kind of use a basic graphing. When graphing, I'm going to solve these both for y, and that's why when I look at this problem, I said, well, graphing would be fairly simple. Um, they both do not have a coefficient, except for this one is a negative 1, but their coefficient, you know, is 1 and negative 1. It's very simple to, to get the rest of them solved for y. I'm going to solve for y, put them in mx plus b form, and then graph. So that's what I'm going to do for these two problems. So to solve this for um, y, I subtracted 2x on both sides, and I get y equals negative 2x minus 5. And then to solve that one for x, I would have a, uh, I subtract a 2x, and then I'm going to have to divide by negative 1 on both sides. Let me just might as well show you. So, um, yeah, I'll subtract 2x. Oops. Subtract 2x, so I have negative y equals negative 2x plus 5. Then I have to divide by negative 1. So really my answer is y equals positive 2x minus 5. So there is my two equations. So now I can simply just give myself an x and y axis, and I'll graph these. Here my y intercepts at 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now here's one at negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My slope here, oh shoot, they both have a negative 5, my bad. I forgot, that one's a negative 5, that one's a negative 5. Well here, my slope is um, down 2 over 1, and here it's up 2 over 1. So what we notice is actually these two graphs, they cross at the point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, comma, negative 5. So the x value and the y value, x value is 0, y value is negative 5. So that's where they cross. Let's check the elimination method. When doing the elimination method, what you need to make sure you do is we're going to eliminate a variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite these two next to each other. And the way that we eliminate a variable is by adding or subtracting the two equations to each other. Now, you could say, I want to eliminate the x's, right? And you could easily do that. However, it's very easy if we wanted to eliminate the y's, because I look at, I already have a positive and a negative. If I was to add these two equations up, automatically, I'm going to get 4x, plus y plus a negative y is 0y equals 0. So it's very already done for me. I've already just added them up. I've got 0 for my y. Um, if you wanted to eliminate the x's, which you could, you'd have to make one of these x's, one of the two x's, by negative. So you'd have to multiply um, one of these rows by everything. You have to multiply one of the equations by negative 1, meaning you'd make every single term negative, and then you could add the two, uh, two equations. However, here, it's already simply put for our y, so I'll just add these two up. I eliminate now the y because 0 times y is 0, so I have 4x equals 0. Divide by 4, x equals 0. So now I know what x equals, I know x equals 0, right? So now I need to figure out, well, what is my y going to equal? Well, I can pick one of my two original equations. Since I know x equals 0, I'll plug that back in and solve for y. So right here I have 2 times 0 plus y equals negative 5. I'm going to use this original equation up here. So I plug the 0 in for x. 2 times 0 is 0. y equals negative 5. So therefore I know what x and what y is. So I can rewrite my new two points. Again, you notice they're exactly the same, right? Good. Last way I'd like to show you is substitution. When doing substitution, what you're doing is you're substituting one value, um, one equation, into the other uh, equation. So
So when you're doing that, you're going to have to solve for a variable. Now, I like how these y's are very easy to solve for. That's what I mentioned at the beginning. Since they have a coefficient of 1 and negative 1, it's very easy to solve for them. This is the easiest. All I need to do is get the 2x on this other side, and I have y equals. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to write that out there, though. 2x plus y equals negative 5. I'll subtract my 2x. So I get y equals a negative 2x minus 5. So therefore, I can technically now say I know what y's value is. y is equal to a negative 2x minus 5. So what I'm going to do, since y is equal to this value, I can plug this in to my other equation. So the other equation was 2x plus a negative y equals 5. Well, rather than writing y, I'm now going to write what the value of y was, which I rewrote, is negative 2x minus 5. So I write 2x plus a negative, negative 2x minus 5. And that equals 5. So now I can use my distributive property. Um, minus 2x, okay. Do distributive property. So I get 2x is equal to, um, 2x, not equal to, 2x plus, negative times negative is 4x, plus 5x, or 5, equals 5. This adds up to 6x plus 5 equals 5. I subtract the 5, so I get 6x equals 0, divide by 6, x equals 0. Again, the exact same what we worked at over here, right? We knew x equals 0. Then I can plug that x equals 0. We already did that over here, but let's do it into the other equation just to show you. So let's do 2 times 0 minus y equals 5. Well, 2 times 0 is 0, minus y equals 5, divide by negative 1, y equals negative 5. Again, I just showed you, we know that x and y equals negative 5. I write it as a coordinate point. And you guys can now see how I um, was able to obtain these three points.